Hey everybody, I'm back again with another video. So grab yourself a cold drink and let's get this on. So I launched my Cody the other day and noticed that I got this message that stated that I should be running the latest version of Cody. Now, a few weeks back, I had loaded the release candidate of 17.1 and apparently they have done some more updates to it and they actually put a reminder that I should be running the latest one. So I decided that they were right and I was going to install 17.1, the actual uh, full and stable version. So I'm going to go do that and then I will show you how to install the Dimitriology uh, Cody Flix version of the build because that's one I've never tried and I'll give you my opinion on it right now. So for those of you who have never installed Kodi on a Windows box, it's very, very simple. You just uh, download the latest version from the website Kodi.tv and then you just launch the installer. Um, it's really, really simple. And then you just have to put your add-ons in. Now, since I had had a previous version of Kodi, um, it already had Exodus and uh, Phoenix TV and all of the other add-ons in there but for most of you this is not what it would look like so I'm gonna show you how to install from scratch when you get the Kodi without any add-ons so first off you're gonna be on your main screen and you're gonna see the cog right in the center you want to press on that and then go to file manager file manager is where you can start adding your sources and this is how you get your add-ons so click on source or double click in this case and then double click on none and then type in the source address in this case it's going to be http forward slash forward slash dimitriology dot com forward slash repo so I'm going to put that on the screen also in uh, bigger letters just so it's easier to read. And once you've completed typing all that in, go ahead and click OK. OK, now we need to give it a name. You could leave it repo, but I like to put a dot in the front. So I'm just going to call it dot boom just for fun and to keep it at the top of the list. Click OK. And then click OK again, and that's it. So go on to your add-on selection and then click on the box that's on the top left hand side. Then you should see something that says install from zip file. Now you should click on whatever you named the file. In this case I called it .boom. Then you go down to wizardology and that's actually the name. It's just keep on scrolling down. You should see it. There it is. Click on that and once you've done that give it a few seconds maybe a minute and then in the top right hand corner eventually you're going to see that that program is installed so I'm just gonna scooch over to the uh, program add-ons and eventually it should show up so let's wait a second and there it is now you just need to click on uh, the Dimitriology wizard so go ahead and double click on that and you should see something that says fresh install install update and all of that but here's a very important step you have to get a code so you're gonna to have to go to a website and see the code I think they update it every two hours so that people can't just try and hack it or use robots or whatever so if you see on the bottom there it says get code and it tells you the website if you don't have a code it will not let you proceed so you're going to need to actually go to the website uh, externally and get that code before you can complete whatever build you want to install and I'm going to show you how to do that right now 
Now, don't make the mistake I made. I actually spelled the name wrong. I put an extra I in it. And there is a tricky, sneaky little website out there that's spelled almost exactly the same, but got an I in it. And it will actually have all these links here that it wants you to press on. It will even say Cody. Don't fall for it. It is not the Demetriology website. It doesn't look like it. And all of those links are phony. So you don't want to click on those. I just wanted to bring this up. Because I made that mistake, I did not watch my typing close enough. And I put that extra I in there. It uh, was just you know, making me zip around and do pretty much nothing. So now that I showed you the wrong place to go, let me show you the right place. So once you're on the correct website, it should look something like this. It has like a pink theme through it. Tech is my passion is the slogan. And this is where you can actually get a code for your builds from Demetriology. So I had to scroll through a little bit in order to find where the code was located. And once I clicked in the correct spot, as you can see when I scroll down, it's going to have the code. Now at first I wasn't sure I was in the right place and that that was a code because there's ads strewn in between everywhere so I clicked on this link here that said get code and it took me to the exact same spot where I was so write down this code it does not allow you to copy it I tried that and proceed back to your Cody and enter the code so once you click on get or code then you can enter the code and like I said they update the code every couple of hours so this code wouldn't work for you and um, once you put in a correct code, then you back up to the original spot where it says install. So double click on that double dot and install build. It says none. So then you have to do an install update. So click on that or double click. And it should take you to a listing of all of the builds that you can do through this wizard. Now, I was going to do the Schism or Boom Shakalaka again, but I'd never done Cody Flicks, so I decided to try it out and let you guys know if it's worth installing. As you can see here, there's a lot of them. There's Serenity, there's Schism. Boom Shock, Galaka, uh, there's like three different versions of that one. And then, of course, it still has the uh, Cody 16 on here, too. So I guess it's still supporting it. So if you have Cody 16, you can still do it through their wizard. But since I've already upgraded to Cody 17.1, I'm going to try the later versions. So let's give that Cody Flix a try. Now when you utilize these wizards, they are going to wipe out any kind of custom things that you've done to your Cody. So don't take this lightly. It will erase stuff and they will give you warnings before they uh, go and proceed to install. So it's telling you that if you had favorites, if you had things like that, it's gonna overwrite them. So I sped it up a little bit just to get through the installation wizard a little bit quicker, but this is pretty much what it looks like. It just runs through all of its scripts and downloads and extractions and installs the new version of Cody right on there. So you will have to close your Cody and relaunch it. Uh, when I tried to just run Cody without closing and relaunching it, I got all these funny icons and no thumbnails. So even though it installed it, it didn't actually force close it. And then I started clicking on stuff and noticing I didn't have icons. So I closed it and reopened it. And now it looks like this. So now it looks 
like it has all the icons and all the add-ons. So now it was my opportunity to test this build and see how the add-ons worked and the ones that they selected. So I started to run through all of my normal tests. I usually try and put a few of the add-ons through their paces. I pretty much tried all the add-ons in this build and for the most part they worked all right but this add-on didn't strike me as any better than TV add-ons. If anything it was it was on par or maybe slightly below it. It had everything that the other one had just in a different way. It's using mostly standard Cody uh, as far as setup and design and the way the themes are. So if you already have TV add-ons, I wouldn't say that this is better than TV add-ons. Uh, like I said, it's pretty comparable to it. So I would say that if you're looking for a fancy build that has cool themes and cool colorings and custom fonts, this is not the one for you guys. And I thought maybe it would be more like Netflix and have like look like Netflix. And that was not the case either. So once I tried all of the add-ons that were installed on the build, I discovered that it's really not worth it unless you don't have TV add-ons already installed. Anyway, let's just do some final thoughts time. Final thoughts Cody Flix is a lot like TV add-ons with a few tweaks. If you're looking for a custom looking build this is not it. But there are some things here I like you have a maintenance tool built in and all the better add-ons I would not pick this one if you already have TV add-ons since like I said they are very similar oh and look out for that other website they are trying to trick people into clicking onto the links please subscribe if you want to catch tutorial videos and much more anyway that's my video thanks for watching I am gonna get the tech out of here